morning, my brothers and my sisters. We welcome you to East Mount Zion Evangelism Hour. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus, we come. We thank you, God, for your goodness and your mercy. We praise you because you made everything. We thank you for this day. We thank you for days to come. Help us to do your work that in everything that your will will be done in our life to your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, I want to speak to you today on the issue of rejection. Rejection. I want to speak to you on the issue of rejection. Have you, have you ever been rejected? Do you feel that you are being rejected? Being rejected at home, at work, in the community? Rejection is very poisonous. Rejection is serious. When you or I, when we are rejected, it does something. It does something to us. Rejection is a disease. I don't know about you. I have been rejected so many times. And believe you me, it is painful. The, the way people do you, the way people reject you and I, it is hurting. It cuts deep inside. Even as a Christian, it is bad. Rejection is bad for everybody. Rejection brings some type of shame. It puts your spirit down. Rejection messes your mind up. There are people who spend their time just putting people down. And that is rejection. They don't care. People don't care what they say. People don't care what they do. They just do things to frustrate people. Rejection is bad. As couples at home, the way we respond to each other means a lot. Husbands need to learn how to stop rejecting their wife's ideas or suggestions. Because all day she, she, she will worry, she, she gets so upset because she was rejected. Wives need to be careful that you don't reject your husband so much that he go through all day angry. Rejection will lead to anger and keep distance at home. The way we handle our children, we reject one and we play favors. At home, we play favors. Because this child, you like this child, but both of them is your children. You reject the other child. How do you do that? 
by the way you show love to one and not to the other. How do you do that? By the way you respond to one and not to the other. The other child will feel rejected. And all his life, rejection that started from, from young, he or she will grow with that. And that's not good. Rejection at work, at workplace. People put you down. But they reach out to others and make others good. They lift others up. But they put you down. Rejection. Eventually, the company will like some people, dislike some people. That's a rejection. Some people get fired from their job today because of rejection. Rejection is dangerous. In our society today, what you see is rejection. Race, black and white issues is about rejection. We reject each other. Rejection. That word rejection appeared in 26 passages in the Bible. Rejection. Are you alone? Are you the only one that has been rejected? The answer is no. I just come to tell you today that you are not the only one that has been rejected. Don't feel too bad. Because even in the Bible, there are 26 passages about rejection. In the Bible, the same Bible, there is about 59 verses, 59 verses talking about rejection. You are not alone. I come to encourage you this morning. In the Old Testament, the book of Psalms 118, I want to select a few verses. The book of Psalms 118. I will read verse 5, verse 8, and verse 18. Look at what verse 5 says. I call upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me. and set me in a large place. We believe that this psalm was written by David. He was in distress. Why was he in distress? Because he was being rejected. King Saul and his officials rejected David. Not only did he reject him, he even tried to kill him. So David was distressed. He was in trouble. He said, I call upon the Lord in distress. And the Lord answered me and sat me in a light place. That's verse 5. Verse 6 said, It is better. To trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. And look at verse 18. The Lord has chastened me sore. The Lord has chastened me sore. For he had not given me over unto death. There is nothing that happens in your life, in my life, that was not known or approved by God. 
even the rejection. So when you feel rejected, it's nothing new. God allowed everything to happen. He knows. Some people may disagree with me, but I come to tell you, there is nothing happening in your life that God did not know or did not approve. But listen, God has a plan, even in your distress. And look at what verse 22 says, the same Psalm 118. It says, the stone which the builders refused became the head stone of the corner. In other words, the stone which the builders rejected became the corner stone. Even when God allowed the rejection from Saul against David, but God was preparing David for a higher call. So when people reject you, you, you feel bad, you, you distress. God is preparing you for a higher call. Don't be discouraged. But look at the book of Matthew, chapter 21, verse 42. Listen. The book of Psalms is in the Old Testament. But let's come to the New Testament. And listen, Matthew 21, 42. Jesus said unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same is become the head of the corner. The same stone the builders rejected became the head stone at the corner. What is he saying? When people reject you, God is preparing you for something higher. Whatever rejection you're going through, remember you are a child of God. For those of you who are Christians, remember you're a child of God. And for those who are not Christians, in order to receive the healing, in order to receive the comfort, you have to seek the Lord. Because only Him will turn your rejection into a beautiful state. Rejection. God is preparing you. If you lost a job, you got nothing, you, you feel so lonely, you feel bad because you've been rejected all your life. Remember this story. The stone which the builders rejected became the cornerstone. I don't know about you. In the old days, when the builders go to build, when they get to the site, they look at the stones. They check it out. And we are told in this story, the builders check the stone out. This is no good. They rejected that stone. This is no good. They rejected that stone. But guess what? By the time they built and built, they realized, oh, we need that stone. Without that stone propped up at our corner, the building will not stand. Even when you are rejected, you are a stone. You are a stone that the builder rejected. But guess what? You will become a cornerstone. In your rejection, God is preparing you for something higher. 
If you don't know the Lord, you can never ascend to what God is preparing you. If you don't know him, you will never appreciate the rejection you are going through. If you don't know Christ as your personal savior, you will feel bad all day long. But if you know that Jesus Christ is the son of God, who came and died for you and for me, you have peace. I come to tell you, those that don't know the Lord, you feel so unloved, you feel so pushed out. Remember, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God loves you, no matter the amount of rejection you may have. But you can only receive that love if you come to Christ. Today is the day. This time is the time for you that don't know him to come to Christ. Come and confess your sins. And come to realize that Jesus is the Son of God who came and died for you and for me. And he arose. And all power is in his hand. Jesus is now the cornerstone. That stone that was rejected, he is the cornerstone of the church. He is the stone for every believer. He will comfort you. He will provide for you. He will give you peace that passes all understanding. He will lead you and guide you. The Bible said, I know the plans I have for you. God has a plan for you. Don't allow rejection. Take away God's blessings for you. Don't dwell in anger. Rejection will bring about anger. You'll be so angry on yourself and people that have rejected you. Let me tell you a story about a family. There are two boys. One of them is very athletic. He plays basketball. The other one is not. The family was so interested to the one that played basketball. They go to watch him. They elevate him. Johnny, what do you need? Johnny, what do you want? They serve him. They're looking up to this because he played basketball. And they believe that he will be a star one day. But the other son, Paul David, he can't even dribble a ball. A teacher at the school saw that. And the teacher will call David. And he says to David, stay with your studies. You will be somebody. And David said, what? She said, yeah, you will be somebody. Continue with your studies. So every morning when, that boy, when David gets to school, he goes to the teacher. Good morning, Miss Amos. And she said to him, David, stay with your book. You'll be somebody. As he grew up, Johnny played basketball and, and all of his sudden had an accident. He couldn't play, he broke his leg. But David grew up and became a medical doctor from the advice of the teacher, Miss Emmons. David was rejected all his life. But guess what? He became the pillar of the house. Johnny broke his leg, and that was the end of that. Even in your rejection, don't give up. 
in your rejection, seek Jesus Christ. If you are not a Christian, this is an opportunity. Come to Christ. Believe in Him. How do you come? Confess your sins. Because the Bible says that we all are sinners. We have done so much wrong. Confess your sin before the Lord. And come to Christ. Accept Him as the Son of God who came and died for you and for me. And when you do that, you can pray, Lord, forgive me, for I'm a sinner. Forgive me, Lord, for I've done so much wrong. You can pray, come into my life right now, O God. Take full control of me. I surrender myself to you. Make me your son. Make me your daughter. Help me and give me peace. Remove the evil spirit of rejection from me and put joy in my heart. Right now, Christ is waiting for you. If you don't know the Lord, you can call Ismael Zion, our pastor. He's a man led by the Holy Spirit, Reverend Cash. He'll be willing to talk to you. You, you can call Ismael Zion for any reason. Come with us and we will walk with you. Remove rejection in your mind. Be happy today. Now don't, don't let rejection keep you down because you lost your job, because people put you down. Get up, keep your head up. You are a child of God and every child of God should keep their head up because you believe God loves you. Forget rejection, for God is the key. For you one day will be the cornerstone, the stone which the builders rejected is now the cornerstone. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for today. We thank you for what we have heard. We have come to realize that rejection is serious. People are suffering because of rejection. But you've told us in your word that the stone which the builders rejected became the cornerstone. Father, we pray for every boy, girl, man, and woman that is suffering from rejection right now. We pray, O oh God, that you will touch their heart. You will show them that there is love from you. Give them your peace, O oh God. Put a smile on their face. But most of all, help them to come and know you. Because when they know you, they will have peace. We thank you for what we have heard. We thank you for your words in the Bible that encourages us. Thank you, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.